Having worked with activists for 40 or 50 years, I know how many of us are driven by anger, fear, and terrible feeling of disquiet that things are wrong and have to be put right. And I now believe that we have to deal with those things within ourselves first, because otherwise what we do is project them out onto others, our co-workers, we get angry with people, we're, we're afraid of the future. So we've got to deal with those things on a daily basis before we upset other people, before we cause before we cause damage and many NGOs I know are bleeding energy down the drain because of the internal fights. So the question of self-knowledge, self-awareness, um, starting meetings with a period of calm, getting into a habit of meditation in the workplace, I think is vital. We know that even in the most troubled uh, hot spots of the world, civil society is actually very alive. Even in Syria, as we speak, there's a network of 300 civil society organizations. They're longing to create a peaceful and vibrant society. The trouble is that they're being prevented from doing the civil society, the creative work that they want to do. But I don't know any hotspot in the world where there isn't a network now of civil society organizations making a huge contribution. The problem is most of them don't get support, most of them are um, traumatized or hunted down because the authorities of the day don't approve of their work. So one of the things that Peace Direct does is to find those people and support them. Certainly in the North and the West, our societies have been dominated by the masculine for the last 2,500 years. That's produced some very good things, some great scientific discoveries and so forth. But it's out of control now. Our obsession with technology, with competition, with consumerism is ruining the planet. And therefore, the feminine, the deep feminine, needs to come back into balance with the masculine. And the latest organization that I've helped found is called Rising Women, Rising World. And that is doing exactly this. It's enabling women from all continents to design how a world that works for all could come into being by 2030 by looking at what's already happening that really works. What every single person can do is to listen to what their soul tells them is their mission in life, combine that with the skills they've already developed, and get into action. Don't wait for somebody else. Don't think that singing nice peaceful songs and sending people a Christmas card with a dove on it is going to do it. It's not. Get into action now. We are mostly living in safe countries. We are vastly privileged. Nobody's going to shoot us or put, her in, put us in prison for getting into action. So we need to get off our bums and do something. The energy of well-being resides in knowing the beloved of the soul. And by that I mean really knowing how much each of us, every single one of us, is loved by the universe with an incredible longing to enable us to be fully active and fully contribute our very best to the, to the universe, to the planet, to all that is. And that comes from calmness and quiet inside. So the more we can know ourselves, the more we can be aware of what we're getting up to and step back a little, the more we're able to contribute to the well-being of others and to our own well-being, of course.